everybody, this is Evan Rogers coming at you with an odd one today. I was talking to one of the students that I tutor and they, uh, they introduced me to a video that was quite hilarious and I felt I just gotta do this one. Uh, I'm gonna put this up on Patreon so anybody who pays a buck or more a month can get access to it, although I'm not really sure if you want to get access to this. This is a video from Dabroku. Um, we will listen to it here and there throughout the video, but I'm actually probably gonna... Uh, I'm gonna splice it in as opposed to me listening to it just on YouTube, but here it is right here on the right, so you know that it does indeed exist. Um, Daburoku is apparently a comedy group. You know, in Japan, they always have the two comedy guys. There's the more, you know, the straight guy and then the, the goofy guy that's usually with them. Uh, they're a comedy duo. Uh, this was hilarious. Shimoneta is dirty jokes in Japan. So, uh, there's apparently a dirty joke contest and they had a skit that was quite hilarious. It was actually a song and it was pretty funny. So uh scrolling down, let's let us let us jump into it. Let's jump into it. Alright, the, in the very beginning, you'll see it says Musical Who Konto. Alright, so when you have this this who, this con this uh, kaze character after a word, it means like in the vein of, in the fashion of, uh, like this thing. And a konto is kind of like a story. It's a, it's a, it's like a short story. So musical who konto. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a like a musical short story. Musical <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the song begins with the words Boku wa mazushi no hu Boku wa mazushi no hu Boku wa mazushi no hu I forget how he sings it exactly because I haven't listened to it for a day uh, Boku, me, I should have had that in there Boku, me, I, uh, mazushi, poor, no hu um, Farmer, I, I am a poor farmer End of sentence. I've chunked these by the end of the sentence. This is just a straight up X equals Y, and there's an adjective in front of the, the Y. Evan, there's no da and no des. Yeah, they do that. They do that. They, they, they leave off the da and the deses. Okay. Okay, so this is yamai no together means a sick something like it's it's a it, this would be a no adjective. Yamai it probably means like sickness and then like the no is linking the noun. But um, basically yamai no sick haha mother osuku to save. So this is this is a clause. Yamai no haha osuku to save to 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 rescue my sick mother tame. I, I kept adding to because that's what tame means. It means in order to do something. In order to save my mother, usually there'd be a knee here, but I think they just left it off for musical reasons. You don't need it, but, you know, usually there will be one. Kusuri o sagashite. Um, I'm searching for, I'm looking for medicine. Pretty basic sentences. I'm a poor farmer. He's setting up the premise of the song. To save my <laughs> my my sick mother, in order to do so, Tame, kusuri sagashite. Um, I'm looking for my mother. So doing this, this isn't the end of the this isn't the end of the sentence. Doing this, mori ni yatkita. I've come to the forest. Mori is a is a forest. Ni tells us to where that is. Yatte yatte kita is kind of a uh, it's two verbs put together, but it means came or um like I have arrived. I have I I've come to I've I've come to a location. <laughs> Kono mori, this forest, no doko ka ni. Doko is a, it means where, doko ka, somewhere, ni. Kono mori no doko ka, somewhere in the forest. This, this forest's somewhere would be a more literal translation. Somewhere in the forest, ni. Kusuri ga aru, there is medicine, hazu. Um, it's expected. It, it, it should be that way. Uh, I expect there to be. There is an expectation. There is some sort of an expectation that there is medicine somewhere in this forest and then he just goes on a 
Kusuri mo tokusai. Okay, so doko da, where is it? Doko ni, doko nanda, where could it be? This sort of is like, where might it? It adds, um, you're, you're, you're looking for an explanation. So doko nanda, you know, tell me, where is it? Doko ni aru, this nda right here, this nda and this nanda are the same thing. The difference is aru is a verb and it goes into nda, whereas doko is a noun, so we get the na nda. That's just the pattern. It's called the um, the the extended predicate. Doku ni aru? Where is it? Where could it be located? It exists where? And then kusuri wa doku da? Where is the medicine? All right. Then we'll clip on to the next one. The next line, I kept the same colors. Mate tazo, I've been waiting. I have been waiting. So notice it's past tense. The waiting is over. It's done. And it's continuous. Mate iru, mate tazo. The zo here, um, it just, it's just some sort of an emphatic particle. It's a masculine emphatic particle that's casual. Um, it's kind of like the yo particle, but masculine and uh, casual. So I've been waiting. I've been waiting. It, it, it comes at the end of a sentence. So we know that this is a full sentence. This isn't mate ita watashi. This isn't the, the I that has been waiting. This is I've been waiting. New sentence. Watashi ga nayameru tami o suku. Um, okay, so watashi ga I. Notice watashi is the same thing as I. And um, he is supposed to be a god, uh, which is what he says, kamisamada. And watashi is more formal. It's more polite. It is more feminine, but um, it's more formal and more polite. It's not reserved for women. It's not reserved for women. I can enunciate. Watashi ga, watashi ga I, and then sku. I save. Sku, we've already seen that. Sku. Nayameru tami. Tami is like people, like the people, the folk, the citizenry. Nayameru is people who are troubled. Notice how it's a verb going into a noun, so it's people who are troubled who like it's weird since it's nayameru and it it, it it operates like like an adjective just sometimes verbs and adjectives have a lot of overlap in japanese Otashi ga nayameru tami o suku. i save troubled people kono mori ni sumu kamisama da so this whole clause is modifying kamisama and there's another clause in between it I, I am a god, or a deity, um, who lives in this forest, Kono Mori, this forest. Ni tells us the location of Sumu, which is to live in an area. I live, I am a, a deity who lives in the forest, and one who saves troubled folk. Watashi ga? I am a god, who, or a deity, who saves troubled folk and lives in this forest. <laughs> Haha o omo omai. So this is what haha o omo is modifying omai. There's a lot of o's there. Sorry, haha o omo omai. Haha, mother o omo to 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 think to feel to 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 think about somebody with emotion and heartfelt thinking. And then that's modifying omai. It's interesting that he's saying watashi, but then he's also using omai. Omai is masculine, it's blunt, and it's more casual. Um, it used to be actually very respectful. It used to be um, the polite, formal way of saying you, you. So uh, you who are heartfelt, troubled, and thinking about your mother... And then this omai is modifying no yashasisa, ya, yasashisa, yasashisa. Uh, your your kindness, your warmth, your 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 easygoingness, your worrying about other people. Yasashi is oftentimes translated as easygoing. It almost more so means uh, you know you think about other people. You think about other people. Let me make sure that I'm actually recording all this. Great, cool. Uh, yasha ni. Okay, so so so. Haha o omo omai. You who are thinking about your mother, you know, truly thinking about your mother, no yashasa, your kindness. Ni, so ni, this ni doesn't make sense until you realize that we're dealing with a, a, a passive verb. Mune, chest, utare, utareru. Utsu, the actual verb is utsu, but this is utareru. And this is quite literally to be struck utsu in the heart. Mune, 
in, in the chest. Heart struck. Oh, I've been, I've been moved. I've been moved by... And then the knee particle tells us by what? By your warmth, your kindness, your warmth and kindness of thinking about your mother. You who have been thinking about your mother, your kindness, I've been struck, I've been stricken by it. I've been, I've been heart struck. I've been, I've been moved by your kindness. Omae o taske ni yatakimasu. Okay, so omae o taskeru, taskeru is to help. Notice taskeru had the ru chopped off and it's taske. This is just the stem. Take any mas verb, taske mas, chop off the mas. The leftover is the stem. Stem plus ni plus any verb of movement means you go or come in order to, the ni particle is to, and then do the verb. So help, in order to help, I've come. I've come to help you. Who have I come to help? The O particle, I've come to help you. Being heart struck by the kindness of you who thinks so warmly about his mother, I've come to help. I've, I've arrived to help you. Oh, isn't that nice? I forgot to mention one thing while I'm here. Uh, this omo is different than your normal omoimasu. It's the same pronunciation, same everything else, but different kanji. The only difference is kanji. Your normal omoimasu, which is just the rice field with a heart underneath it, that just means to think in general. This one is much more emotionally thinking. <laughs> Alright, back down here. The farmer says, Honto desu ka? Is that true? Is that real? Really? It's kind of what is going on here. Honto, honto literally means real. Like this is a real something. And then, but in this pattern, it almost always means really? Shinjiru means to believe. Shinjirare nai. I can't believe. I don't believe it. Shinjirare nai. I don't believe it. Shinjirare nai. I can't believe it. Arigataki. You might have seen arigato. You might have even seen arigatai. You might have even seen um, arigataku, as in arigataku chorai tashimasu. I, I, I very graciously and, and um, accept what it, you're, you're giving me. Uh, arigataki is just an old school, very polite way of saying thank you. And then shiawase, I am happy. I am happy. This is just happiness. Shiawase, shiawase. There's a KFC commercial in Japan where they bite into a, I don't know, a chicken thing from KFC and then all of a sudden the entire thing would stop and it would just be her face going Shiawase! and it was the funniest thing for me and my wife anyway uh, Arigataki is um, I very I'm very thankful and I'm very happy oh my gosh really I can't believe it I'm so thankful I'm so happy. <laughs> And then <laughs> here comes the buildup. The, the the deity says, Omai no nozomi. So we've already seen Omai. Nozomi is your desire, your wish. Hitotsu, just one, one. And then Dake, just one. Hitotsu Dake, just one. Omai no nozomi. Omai no nozomi. Just one of your desires. Kanairu. Kanairu is to grant, to, to give a desire, a wish, to grant a wish, to give a desire. And then the te form plus yaru. Yaru, this obviously says yaro, but yaru is a verb for handing down to somebody. So if he's a deity and he's going to give to a poor farmer, the proper verb for giving to him would be uh, yaru. Um, a mother yarus some candy to her children. Uh, the boss yarus, I don't know, some money to his lowly staff, so to speak. A king yarus something to his vassals, etc., etc. I I'm the, yeah. Anyway, so te yaru is I, I I will give to you. I will grant this for you. I will do this for you. Uh, any verb in the te form plus a verb of giving, not necessarily receiving, but giving is I will do this for you. I will do this. It can be rude sometimes, so be careful. You don't want to say like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll do that for you when really you're just going to do it because you're supposed to do it. Um, so be careful using that pattern. But um, so yeah, and also make sure you don't use yaru when you're talking to, you know, your boss. Uh, yaro u is I shall, I, I will, um, I've, I thought about it and I'm going to. Uh, yaru is I will do this. Yaro is kind of like um, I'm thinking about it and I shall. Um, it's kind of like the let's idea, like, ah, oh, let's do it. Let's do this. However, in this situation, it's not really let's grant you a wish. It's kind of like, how's about I grant you a wish? Something like that. So, oh, omai no nozomi, one of your desire. Oh, hitotsu. One of your desires, Dake, just one of your desires. 
Kanaita Yaro. I, I, I shall grant. I shall. I, I kind of like the translation of shall for that. I shall grant you just one of your, just one of your wishes. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> and then the dude yells, No, 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 no. Uh, this is not about Naru, uh, so not about. Uh, this is this is this is a conditional. So if that's the case, something like that. If that's the case, if if that's what's gonna happen, if something something something. Naru, the na here is the na like after na adjective. Also that na that we talked about that came before the n des. This is basically da des de aru da. So this is like, if it is. So the naraba is, if it is. Naraba. And then the dude makes this hilarious gesture. And indeed, he's talking about, Okina uh, is, is one of the ways to say a big. So a big something. Ichimotsu. Welcome to the club, everyone. This is slang. Locker room talk with the boys calling it, talking about your man meat. Uh, your man meat. We'll translate it as that. I think I'd use the D-I-C-K -D word down south in case you're under the age of 18 and you don't know how to spell. And then, oh, kudasai, please give to me. Please give to me. Oh, can I eat what's oh, kudasai? Give me a big dude downstairs. And uh, <laughs> he says it numerous times. You can listen to it. At one point, he he adds a watashi ni, watashi, watashi ni. Uh, watashi ni just means to me. It's redundant, honestly, with the with the verb kudasai. It's redundant because kudasai means give to me, and he just adds it one time for flavor. So, um, if when you see the watashi ni, it just means to me, and then uh, he uses some more. Oh, it was very awkward asking these questions to the guy that I was tutoring, but he was having a blast too. Ona, the women, the ladies. Oh, okay. So we have the verb you imas you, but here it's iwaseru. So this is to make them say. Imas is to say. Iwaseru is to cause. In some way, the subject is causing the object to do something. So iwaseru to make them say to cause them to say. To make the ladies say he he. Um, now, okay, so in English, he he sounds like maybe they're giggling. Or maybe even it's like a pig sound. He he, something like that. Apparently, and I can't get a Japanese person to explain. I've asked a few people because I'm a disgusting pervert. A apparently, everyone knows the song. Apparently, like everyone over the age of 10 knows this song and has heard it. Which is weird because 10 year olds probably shouldn't be hearing songs about, you know, getting dongs. Uh, this is apparently, and even like middle school kids know this, it's not necessarily sexual. I should say that. It's not necessarily sexual. It's, it's moaning in pleasure. So for example, if you're getting a massage and you're like, mm, that's apparently he, he. <laughs> Maybe in Japan, when you're getting a nice massage or you're getting a good treatment at a spa, maybe people go, he, he. What? But that's not in any way what I'm used to hearing for moaning with pleasure. Apologies. So if that's the case, give me a giant dick. I'll just use the word screw. You're, you're here for a reason. The, and... The thing that is going to make the women moan in pleasure is the okina ichimotsu that he's, he's, he wants. So, he, so he's saying, I want one that makes the women, you know. Uh, so uh, that's apparently appropriate for children to hear on the radio. And then the god, the, the deity. <laughs> The deity, I think in the middle of what he's saying right there, goes mate. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Then the, the te form by itself without anything after it is a command. Wait, wait, wait. 
so denied there. That's not what we're talking about. That that's not what it is, right? Uh, so in that way, Janai, it's not used with uh, nouns. Daro, right? Right? Kind of like that, right? Right? This Daro ending is the same as the Yaro ending, but um, obviously you can't shall is something. It just means that that's not what it is, right? That's not what you're supposed to be doing, right? 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 Hanashi ga chigao. Chigao means differs or is different. Hanashi, what you're saying, uh, what you said, your, 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 your speech so far is different. What you're saying is wrong. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, that's not what you were saying. That's not what you were saying would be a good translation like that. Yamai no haha wadosta. What? Yamai no haha, your sick mother wadosta. What about? What about your sick mother? Hey, 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 hey. Wait, 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 wait. That, wait that's not what you're talking about. You're, you're saying something different now. What about your sick mother? <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay, soda. Oh, that's right. Soda. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> so, sorry, I'm watching it. Um, so, dot, dot, uh, when you use a past tense when it should be um, not past tense, this oftentimes uh, translates to, oh, right, that's right. That's what it was. That sort of feeling. That's what it was. Notice how we do that in English, too. That's what it was. Oh, that's what I was talking about. Um, oh, that's what the thing was. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to be doing this. I was supposed to be doing this. Soda, soda. Oh, that's right. Soda, soda. That's right. Yamai no haha ga. So my my sick mother. Ichiban daiji. Ichiban daiji. Number one. Ichiban daiji. Important. That's right. That's right. My mother's the most important thing. My mother's more important. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Excuse me. Yeah. Right. 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 My mother's most important. Yamai no haha ga ichiban daiji. <laughs> however, <laughs> however, and then he asks for uh, that thing again. He says it a few ways. He adds the Watashini at one point, I think. And he goes, Sento de Miraganido Mizuru. Sento is like the house where, uh, the building where an onsen is. It's like a bathhouse. So when you go to like one of those old school houses, not it's not like a real con. It's specifically like a bathhouse. One of those um, onsen bathhouses. At the Sento, Minaga, everyone... Nido two times misuru. Everyone's gonna do a double take is basically what's going on here. Look twice, glance twice, peek twice. So he said, what kind of a what kind of big guy does he want? He wants one where everyone at the bathhouse is gonna do a double take. In fact, he acts out a double take. It's pretty funny when he does that. <laughs> Alright, let's see what he says next. <laughs> While the guy's singing, okay, so while the guy's singing about what he wants, the uh, the deity is saying, oh, Okasan, Byoki, your mother is sick. This is just a Okasan wa Byoki des. However, he's leaving out the des, the da, and the wa, and the ga. Your mother's sick. This na here is like, right? Come on. Like, um, ne? It, it, it's basically ne, but it's like almost like self-wonderment. He's like, nah, what are you talking about? The other dude's kind of ignoring him. And he's like, dude, what What about your mother? Right? Come on. Your, your mother's sick, right? Right? Hey, hey, nah. Okaza, byogi. Nah? Nah? Like, hey, hey. Uh, right? Come on. <laughs> and then he 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 blurts out, Imotsu, Ichimotsu te chinchi no hanashi ka yo. Uh, He's confused. He's like, when you say this, you're talking about your penis, right? So, uh, <laughs> Ichimotsu means the guy down south for men. And then this te is like, to you to. So, when you say this, saying this, when you, he's using this to, to shorthand, very shortened um, for, it's almost like the wa particle, really. It's almost like the wa particle. He's saying to you to. So, when you say Ichimotsu, chinchi no hanashi ka. You're talking about your chinchin, you're talking about another word for penis, another word for dong, another word for all the same ways that we have, all the, you know, how English has so many different ways to say it as well. 
Hanashi Kayo. Uh, this Kayo is interesting. So um, this is just a very emotional blurting out, like, right? Uh, you're, Kayo, you're talking about your, your dick? And then he's adding emphasis, asserting, dude, you're talking about that. Like, what are you talking about? Kind of like that. Mo, already, yamete, stop kure for me. Please, please, just stop it. Please, just stop it. And then he says, Omae no tameni, for you, detekita. So the detekita doesn't have a subject, but he's talking about himself. That I have appeared, that I have come out, right? Deru is to appear, to come out, and then kita is like, come to you. That I have come to you, for you, that, that, I, have, that I have appeared for you. I was stupid to come out of hiding for you. I was stupid to have appeared for you. I'm stupid to have come before you to help you. Oh my gosh, was I an idiot for coming out here to try to help you. And <laughs> uh, then the guy tries to save it. Uso des, uso des. Yamai no haha wo taskete kudasai. Uso means it's a lie. Uso des, uso des. I, I'm joking. I'm no, no, no. I'm lying. I'm joking. I'm lying. I'm joking. Uso des, uso des. Please help my sick mother. So taskeru is again to to help. Uh, te kudasai. Please help my sick mother. Yamai no haha wo taskete kudasai. Onegai shim, onegai shimasu. And he, he says, please, I beg of you. Something like that. I request of you. And then the 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 deity says, Um that uh, let's start off with in in this. You know, so so the deity somehow still believes the guy, and he goes, "All right, it's it's good that it's good if you understand what I'm talking." It's like, okay, okay, I'm glad that you understand that your mother is so important. It, it, it's good that you want me to help your 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 mother. That you understand it, wakareba. If you understand it, that's all right. That's all right. That you understand that I'm here to help your mother. That's okay. But you know, kiddo, the kiddo is just like softening it. Uh, again, we have the n des. Uh, e is an e adjective. We don't have it. We don't need a na, no, n or anything like that. We just go straight into the n da like a verb. The, if you understand that, it's all right. <laughs> However, then our uh, <laughs> then our poor farmer goes. And then uh, that translates to while we're at it, or he's gonna take the opportunity while it's presented. He once again asks for a certain thing. And he elaborates further on what kind of a thing he wants. He wants a kujira no yo ni okiku. And then, so it, it's okiku. No, normally this would be an adverb, but then he goes on to say something else. Um, so what he's saying, th this is like, I wanted to do this and then also this. So it's almost like he's just sort of pausing and then he's going to say and this. Kujira, whale, no yoni, like a whale, okiku, being big like a whale, the thing that he's asking for, he wants it to be big like a whale, and, the ku is kind of like the and, kiri no yoni, like a giraffe, soritatsu, soritatta, it towers like a, it towers or it soars or it raises up like a, like a giraffe. Kujira no yoni, okiku, kiri no yoni, <laughs> and then uh in the middle of him saying that the deity is saying chukoku shitoku <laughs> shitoku isn't a word it's shi te okimas shite oku shi te oku slurred together shitoku uh chukoku is to ad is advice chukoku osuru is to give advice. I will give you advice. 
Teform Chukoku Shite. I wish I could highlight just half of the toe because the T of toe is the T of Te Shite. Chukoku Shite. I will give you advice. Te Oku for your future knowledge. I, te Oku means to to do in advance, to to give to 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 provide something in advance, to do something in advance. So I'll give you some I'll give you some advice, boy. Uh, hey, uh, let me give you some advice. Ichimotsu wa, regarding your main man, Oki is big, but he adds sa. Sa turns an adjective into a noun, and it's instead of saying big, it means the bigness, the size in the situation, the size. So Oki sa. Now this is interesting. The 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 subtitle that's given uses yori, which would mean more so than than Oki sa. More than the size, however, what he actually says when you listen to it, it's going to say janakte. It's not the size. So janakte translates to it's not the size. However, yori is like more than what's more, you know, more than the size. So in, so uh, once again, if, if we go with yori, more than the size, or if we go janakte, it's not the size. And then he finishes off with katasada. Katai is hard, stiff, so the hardness it's not the size that's important. It's the hardness. It's the stiffness. It's how hard it is. Dio. Hey, let me give you uh, some advice regarding that thing. It's not how big it is. It's the size. Or it's, it's how stiff it is. It's how hard it is. Another one of the guys I tutored showed me a joke. For any Japanese people out there who know this joke, explain it to your friends. Uh, I don't want to get fired off of YouTube, so I won't explain that. If you know anybody who's Japanese, or maybe just leave, leave in the comments. Uh, the insane farmer who is a giant pervert proceeds to add even more details about the thing he wants. And these start getting very strange, especially for a young child to hear, because apparently even like 11, 12 year olds have heard the song. Shinju is a pearl. Like, you know, you open up a clam and there's a pearl. Uh, choice of words. Uh, Shinju pearls mo those as well. Even those in it Please put in some pearls. Uh, for the adults listening to this, you might have some idea of why he might want some pearls into his main man. Uh, for those who might not get it, um, the ladies might enjoy some bum 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 bums. So we'll leave it at that. <laughs> So he, he's, he's being very specific about what he would like regarding that part of his body. And then he starts sort of negotiating. Kadi dake. Kadi, which again, uh, it's strange that this word's being used in on the radio. He, that's talking about the head. In fact, you see him making the motion. I shouldn't do that. He, he, he makes that motion of the shape of the thing that he's talking about with his hands while singing. Uh, Kadi is like the head of the dude that he's talking about, the thing that he wants. So just the head of it, Okiku. So this is an adverb, like we were talking about earlier. Um, okiku, bigly, it's an adverb, so bigly, largely. And then when you have an E adjective with a ku followed by suru, it means make it big, make it adjective, make it adjective. So, so <laughs> just the head of it, please make it big. Again, the shiteku design, shiteku design, please make it big. P just the head, just, just, just that part of it, please make it large. <laughs> and then I'll admit I didn't know this one. He, he, <laughs> he asks, Bochoritsu, the rate of expansion, o agete kudasai. Now, I had to ask the person that I was listening to this with, um, is bochoritsu, like, how quickly? Because it says rate of expansion. Um, he's like, no, 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 And I looked it up on Weblio, because this is like a physics term, like, engineers would use this phrase. Bochoritsu is like the coefficient of expansion, apparently is what it means. So this isn't necessarily how fast it gets big. It means... Like, starting off with one, 
will it get to a hundred or will it get to a thousand or will it only get to 10? So he's asking for that. Uh, he doesn't want to be a shower. He wants to be a grower. Apparently we'll put it at that. Bochoritsu agete. Agete is to rise, to raise, to lift, to, or to increase. So the, the expansion coefficient, please raise. Please increase the, the expansion coefficient. <laughs> what a dumb thing to ask for. Bochoritsu agete kudasai. Matte kudasai kami sama. Matte kudasai kami sama. And then the deity has already left, so he does a spinning twirly behind him. Matte kudasai, please wait. Please wait, uh, forest deity, please wait. Matte kudasai kamisama! Matte kudasai kamisama! As he's uh, begging for such odd things related to uh, his manhood. <laughs> Uh, this was absolutely hilarious and when I first heard it just two days ago, I knew I had to make a video about it I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have just come into at least one part of Japanese culture Which is wildly inappropriate if you know an adult who has a sense of humor who's Japanese uh, Ask them if they know this song and tell them that you actually know what's going on now Take this document uh, Put it up on your computer go to the video Practice listening, as inappropriate as it might be. There's a lot of good grammar in here, and it'll be good for listening. Okay? Very funny, too. Like, just, just watching him act out, him begging a forest deity for a giant dong when his his mother's sick at home dying. Oh, I need to go. <laughs> what a great premise. This so reminds me of Jack Black. Have yourselves a good day. Peace out. Come on,